good Friday morning. 11, 14, 39 degrees. Beautiful day. Uh, the next seven to nine days or something, we're supposed to be a uh, beautiful weather like this and uh, high 70s and 80s here coming up within the next week. So possibly the weather has turned. We'll see. So started my day off first thing this morning with another 100 gallon water tank. I had to go and uh, pick up at one of my neighbor's jobs. So. Thank you, Chris. So, I don't want to take it to the scrapyard because I'm going to pull the little brass thing off of there and the control box. And then I'll throw all that crap there in the van for shred with along with some more monitors. <coughs> so, I think I have maybe 20 towers to do yet from the pickup I did the other day. Um, it'll take me about an hour. Get rid of those. And then I had a brain fart. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So, this is all the boards that I took out so far from those computers. They're all metal green. Um, I'm going to move a bunch of crap around. That freezer's getting out of here. Um, if my neighbor don't want it, I'll set it outside. I don't really care. But... That thing there is going to come in here, and I'm going to put it right here. This table is going outside, so if I want to work outside, I'll have the table. Um, this thing's kind of heavy, and it's all metal. It's not stainless. See? So this will be my outside work area table, which this table used to be outside um, last year. If you go back to some of my older videos, you'll see that it used to be sitting right where that window is in that garage now. And I used to work over there on it when I had a crap load of flat screen TVs. So freezer's got to go. Um, this shelf here. It's going to have to go down a little bit. That's going outside. The refrigerator is going to be put right there. This bench is going along that wall. This bench here, I'm not sure. Um, I would like to take this bench and put it over there. And then I'll have the plug for the grinder and wire stripper and all that stuff over there. That would leave this whole area open. Um, I just have to figure out where to put that metal uh, shelf. This one here. So I just have to figure out where to do with that one. Um, considering there's not a lot of crap on it, I might just eliminate it. I don't know. Um, and then I have to go through and organize all this crap. Because I have a thousand buckets full of stuff. And I don't want a thousand buckets full of stuff. And I bolted this down, so... Um, I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then just go through, you know, a lot of this crap here and... See what I want, see what's garbage. Like this here, this is shred. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, this is mostly electrical stuff. That's gas valves, so that ain't nothing to take apart. <clears throat> but it's just, you know, odds and ends stuff that, I mean, it's all separated. You know, it's motors, 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 motors. Um, my neighbor has a, a press, a hydraulic press he said I could use. So that'll get these out real easy. So I might do that this weekend. Get those done. This is all just clean um, MLC. These came out with computers, so this here, I just have to take that, uh, pound the screws out of these which is two seconds these here have the little brackets on the bottom the four screws and those are done so easy to do there's some just little odds and ends in there and then i'm going to go through this stuff because i think a lot of this stuff is going to hit the shred pile like those tvs and some other stuff that's in here um so it's just going to be a weekend of going through stuff i think 
Um, that's all shred. That bucket is shred. Uh, I got a bunch of that stuff that was in the driveway the other day. So that was all faucets and all kinds of stuff. So there's brass in there. This is like die cast, but they usually throw it in with the cast aluminum. But I still separate it. Um, this thing weighs a million pounds for being low grade. And those are crap boards. And I got this box of hard drives that I gotta do something with. Um, next week, that rooftop deal I had um, got canceled till sometime next week uh, because something he was waiting for um, still wasn't done. So they told him early next week. And I'm probably gonna have to go out and get another pallet from that company. Um, I talked to him this morning. He said, there's a box here if you want to come and get it. Um, I really don't because I want to get stuff cleaned up. But it don't matter because, like I said, I gave him another box. So he has another box that he can start another one. And there's another one sitting right here. So and my cans are piling up again. Uh, what else? Anything else? So, yeah, I'm going to definitely take advantage of this weather. And, uh... See what I can get done. These were all my totes from uh, Ohio, from board sort. So I gotta go through these because some of these are gonna get put in the trash too. You know, if they're broke or anything like that, they're just going if they have a crack in them or anything. And I want to dig about, oh, I don't know, maybe 75 more out of here for Monday's load to the scrapyard. My scrapyard's not open on the weekend, so <clears throat> I have to. Uh, Wait till Monday. Wait till Monday. But yeah, get the yard clean and then I pile it back up. <laughs> so this thing's pretty heavy and still had water in it too. So as you can see, see how wet it is up there. But yeah, I'm going to roll this thing and uh, get this stuff off of here. And then I can start uh, loading the van for, uh, like I said, Monday. Um... What else I got going on? Anything? I don't think so. My computer store still has some stuff for me to pick up, but uh, there's some bed rails there too. Um, that probably won't be until end of the week or maybe even the beginning of the following week. Like I said, I just have too much going on. I drilled a hole in this thing because it was full of water. So all the water drained. Yeah, drilled a little hole right there. All the water seeped out of it. But yeah, I want to get this uh, in the garage, get it cleaned up. Get all this gobbledygook, grease, whatever the hell it is, out of there. And I'll probably reuse these bins. There ain't nothing wrong with them. Anybody need to remove a staple? Oh. I don't know. I just don't know. Do I think of anything else has been going on? Um, I really don't think there has been. Just been a busy doing the normal stuff. <clears throat> and like I said, when that rooftop thing comes up, that'll keep me busy for probably a couple days. A little scaluminum. So, yeah, it's just going to be a lot of moving around, shuffling around. Uh, and like I said, just going through uh, going through all this crap. That's the problem. You know, it's all this little stuff that it just piles up and piles up and piles up. Like this stuff here. I don't know what these screws went to, but I saved them for something. I have no idea. No idea. Got stuff hiding. So it goes to my uh, grinder. I don't want to lose that. Oh, my light just went out. Must not have paid the bill. 
And I still have all these to do as well. Um, haven't had time to do these yet. Fives, threes, sevens. Those are just pinless. Unfortunately, a lot of these computers here um, were the first gen. So those are just uh, pinless CPUs. They don't buy them anymore. <coughs> As I series. So, silver contacts, some lead, another motor. I've seen a, uh, a video. And the guy was uh, uh, doing these armatures. And I didn't know that if you put this in a vise and you'll whack it, that shaft will come right off of there. I did not know. Then I started taking this apart and gave up. Actually, I didn't give up. I just never continued. But yeah, he was putting them in the vise. Hold on a minute. Hang on. You're going in a circle. You'll be all right. So, just enough in the vise like that. Let's try it. Oh, and Ian Matthews, I liked your 58 or 59 second video yesterday. Proud of you, buddy. Jerk. They said if you hit it with a hammer... I'm using my left hand, so that's part of the problem. Hold on here. Sorry for the noise, but not sorry. He had a big hammer, though. Yeah. I don't know if it's coming off or there or not. I ain't gonna mess with it right now, but if you hit it hard enough with a big enough hammer, they do like pop out of the center. Oh, yeah, it was sliding off. Set. And then you get all these little copper doofitchies here. See? And then he just cut around it. Um, and it all came out. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm trying to remember what channel it was, but I can't remember right now. Uh, Scholar Metals was uh, doing it too. Um, I like that guy's channel, but he was uh, cutting motors and stuff with no mask on. He had glasses up, no mask. So I kind of asked him to put a mask on. I get yelled at for it, so he's going to get yelled at for it. End of story. End of story. So, I'm gonna get busy here and get those computers done. What's up, homie? Oh, you gotta yell at me, Jesus. Just ask a question. Yeah, whatever. You got my couch all hairy. I gotta vacuum it again. You alright? Huh? You alright? I open the window for you so you can sit in the sunshine and you're going to yell at me. What's up with that? Say hi to your people. <laughs> your eyes are watering. Here, you got an eye booger. Let me get it. Let me get it. All right. You ready? Look. They're saying don't shut it. Don't shut it. Don't shut it. Did you hear the ghost in there? Is the ghost walking around? I got a ghost in my house. Ah, uh -huh. that's what you get for looking away, turkey. That's what you get. All right, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, if anything exciting happens over the weekend, I'll let you know. Not anticipating anything. Uh, oh, and a little argument I had with my helper I got resolved, so all's good in that department. So, 
Which I knew it would, you know, just... I told him yesterday, I said, you're just a little short-tempered, buddy. No need for that. Uh, yeah, so on that note, have a good weekend, guys. I appreciate y'all. Stay safe, stay busy. Stay out of trouble, unless you're me. And, um, like I said, if anything pops up, if I get anything organized or something, maybe I'll do a quick 20-second video. Uh, I got my breakfast. Dark chocolate, candy bar, and orange juice. No, I had an egg sandwich earlier, so I'm good. So, have a good one, guys.